Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Taj and I'm a paycheck budgeter documenting my financial journey here on YouTube. If you are returning, welcome back beautiful budgeter. In today's video, I'm going to be um, kind of working out my savings challenges for 2024. So if you are interested in how I am going to, um, I guess, plan ahead, then keep on watching. Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, who got talk all right, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, if you are returning and you've been here and you've been watching my videos, especially the one in particular, my debt um, confessions video, then you know, uh, you already know that I took some savings challenges or pretty much all of them and I paid down some debt. Um, and I think that at, for for so long, I was doing these savings challenges because they were fun, they were cute, um, but they had no purpose. And I don't know why it never clicked, but it just didn't, girl. So I re I had I you know just watching videos and going through my savings challenges and things like that, just in the in the motion. Um, and I started realizing, okay, I want I need to start doing something with this debt. Like I'm paying on debt, I'm paying on my debt, but like it ain't really moving. So. I don't know, y'all. I can't tell you what made me. Do, I don't know. It just something just clicked one day, and I was like, "Girl, why are you doing all these savings challenges? And you accumulate. You got all this. You know, you got this cash sitting here, but you got debt sitting here. Like, girl, what are you? What are, what are we doing? Okay, what are we doing? So, um, I made a decision that you know what? I'm gonna just start over. I'm gonna take what I have. I'm gonna take these savings challenges. I'm gonna pay down as much debt as I can. And we we just gonna do it. We just gonna have to start over with the savings challenges, and that's what I did. Um, but with that being said, uh, I didn't just jump back into doing a whole bunch of different savings challenges. Um, I said that for the rest of the year, I was going to just continue to focus on paying down debt. I still did savings challenges, but not as many as I was. I limited myself to two savings challenges. Um, and I also decided that, uh, come 2024, I am going to pick up some more savings challenges, do some different ones this year. Um, but I'm not going to make the mistake of not giving them a purpose. Um, every savings challenge, savings challenge that I do for 2024 will have a purpose. And that is what this video is going to be about. I'm going to, um, decide, what savings challenges I'm going to do, how I'm going to do them, and, wh and what job they are going to have, what purpose they are going to have. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. So I um, I printed out uh, a couple of sheets that I felt like would help me um, figure out what I wanted to do with the savings challenges and you know, with these sinking funds. Um, like, but in my business journal, some, I, I have like multiple different versions in sheets that I incorporate in that, um, in that journal. Some, some sheets ended up not making the cut. Some did. Um, and these are some of the sheets that did not make the cut, but I still held on to them because I felt like eventually I was either going to add them in or they was going to serve another purpose, right? The first one is the annual overview. Um, I'm going to use this sheet to, um, write in some important dates for 2024. And that's going to help me with my savings challenges because it's going to allow me to know uh, what I need to save for and when I need to save it by. Um, the second sheet is my quarterly to do. So I decided that what I'm going to use this sheet for is my savings challenges. I'm going to break them up into quarters. So I do have savings challenges that's going to go throughout the year but um i have some that you know they may end up capping or um they are 
for a, a particular reason and whenever that time comes then that savings challenge either if whether it's complete or not we we gonna move on the last one is the bill tracker so i think i'm gonna change this because i'm going to use this as i decided pretty much at the last minute when i got ready to start the video um how i'm going to use this sheet so i think i'm going to change it from the bill tracker to a savings um challenge tracker and i'll get also into this sheet and how i'm going to um utilize it and how it's going to serve a purpose um so the first one is the annual overview sheet so this is going to be for 2024 let's go ahead so we're gonna basically we're gonna start our savings challenges um in january and um, my um anniversary is in march so uh march the 5th to be exact um and i definitely am planning something there so i do want to make sure um that i put that in um also in april so april girl we have a savings challenge for this girl because all right, so April is my oldest daughter's birthday. So that's Anaya's birthday. And then also, um, and her prom, her senior prom. So, girl, we've been, we've been this whole year. Let me tell y'all something. If you don't have a senior, um, but you, you on your way there girl be prepared okay be prepared and for those of you who already been there done that girl pray for me okay um so she already picked her prom dress we actually went and looked at some dresses at this bridal shop and she tried a lot of a few dresses on and she ended up like narrowing them down and then she ended up picking one girl four hundred dollars okay but it's my baby prom this her last year so you know, we gonna go we gonna do it um but girl we got a challenge for that because we we gotta girl we gotta do something um and then her graduation so she graduates um high school in may um so of course you know there's gonna be money behind that also um, my birthday is in me. Um, also, so summer vacation. So they usually get out of school at the end of May, June. I usually be kind of like, you know, resting and getting into the motion. So usually summer vacation is in, um, July. So, so this is back to school. Um, September is my mom's birthday. All right. And then October, we have my middle daughter's birthday, Mariah. And then my husband's birthday. Um, November, I'm not really a Black Friday shopper, but girl, I ain't gonna lie. Most of the thing I be looking for is sheets. <laughs> and this year, girl, I found the best, okay? The best sheets. They, I, I, when I say I ranked up on sheets, y'all, it was insane. So, I ain't gonna lie, next year, I'm gonna be looking for them sheets, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna, we gonna go ahead and put Black Friday in there. Um, sheets and towels, baby. That's what I be looking for. Um, and then December is, uh, Desire's birthday, which is my youngest daughter. Girl, 
Okay, let me start right here and let me tell y'all about this. So, y'all know that I have been doing the Roblox challenge for Desire Your Birthday, right? So, let me tell you something. Let me just pause the video right here and give y'all a little story time, okay? So, uh, I decided that I would do a Roblox challenge for Desire Your Birthday and that she would scratch off... Um. So, I had her rolling the dice and she would scratch off the amounts. Now, I... I didn't really plan it correctly because I should have started it a little bit earlier than what I did, right? But it's cool. So, because what I decided to do was, was her birthday um, has passed, right? But what I did was I went on ahead and got her gifts that I wanted to get her. I paid for it on my credit card. But I am still doing having her do the challenge because once we're finished, I'm going to pay myself back. And, you know, put it back on the credit card. So, um, so yeah, I should have did that a little bit early. But let me tell you what happened. So, I decided to go ahead and purchase um, her stuff. And I can say what it is now because she already got her gift. So, I bought her an Apple iPad. And uh, it was like a renewed one um, from off of Amazon. I got the pen, um, a case. And she loves to roll a belay and she outgrew her skates and we kept saying that we was going to get some more, but we never did. So I ended up buying her some roller blades. So that's what she got for her birthday. So I strategically ordered, um, you know, all of her stuff off of Amazon and I made sure that it was going to, you know, I have Amazon Prime, but you know, some things wasn't going to come on time. It was either going to come before or a couple of days after, but I wanted the package to come on her birthday. So the ones that I picked was going to come deliver on her birthday. Okay. So her birthday is on December 5th. So on December 5th, I'm like, let me check to see to make sure that everything is still intact and it's going to come, you know, I'm waiting on the postal man. She was at school. So that it was the perfect time for when she come home, package will be here. So I go and I look on my, um, on my Amazon app and I saw where it said the iPad was coming that day, which was the day of her birthday. But the rollerblades, the app, the the um the pen for her iPad, and the case, it said that it was delivered the day before on the fourth. Now it's the fifth, right? When I'm seeing this, so I'm like, so then I started panicking. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What you mean? It was delivered on the fourth. It was supposed to be delivered on the fifth, but not only that. Ain't nobody deliver no damn packages to my house. I work from home. I'm here. Okay. So I call uh, my husband and I'm like, cause he had just left to go back to work, back offshore. So I called him and I said, did you get a package? Which I kind of knew he didn't because if he would, if he did, he would have brought it to me. But I was just like, let me just cross all my T's and dot all my eyes. So I called him and I'm like, did you get any packages, Amazon packages delivered? Be you know, it was supposedly delivered yesterday. Um, I ain't get no package. Now, mind you, in my community, the postman always, okay, emphasize, emphasis on always, mess up damn deliveries, okay? always and we have a community page and a lot of them are very honest and friendly so if they get a package that's not theirs they'll post it on the community page to say hey you can come pick up your package it was delivered here or i'm gonna drop it off to you yada 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 so you know the first thing i do after i talk to him and he like no i ain't getting no, no. first he said he kind of pissed me off because he was like um i gave you the package no, you didn't. What you mean you get? When when did you get a package? I said, it said it was delivered yesterday. You didn't give me no package. You don't remember when I gave you that box? So now I'm thinking I'm tripping. I'm like, and then I'm actually, actually getting excited because I'm like, okay, well, maybe it wasn't, you know, delivered on the wrong house. Maybe he did get it and I just don't remember or he thought he gave it to me. Where is it? You don't remember when I handed it to you? So then I thought about it and I said, boy, that was not yesterday. That was a couple of days ago. And that was from Grove Collaborative. That was my damn dish detergent. So now I'm back on the panic mode. 
He was like, well, what about the box that's sitting on the table? What table? The table in the entryway, Taj. What? I'm looking. I'm literally on the phone with him at the front door. So I'm standing at the entryway. What What box was there? Ain't no box ever was on this table. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I don't know. I think I get, yeah, they might, I don't remember getting no package. Now nah, I'm pissed at him too. Cause you, cause I'm sitting up here asking you about this, my baby packages that you, you, I don't know what the hell you think about, but I need you to get on board. Then help me find these damn packages. Um, so the, so the next thing I do is I get on the community page and I'm scrolling to see maybe if somebody said that they, you know, they posted my address and Hey, I got your package girl, whatever nothing so i post on there and i'm like you know i ordered my baby's um my daughter's um birthday gift and it was supposed to be live, delivered on the fifth but it's saying that it was delivered on the fourth i never got it if anybody has um you know a package that you know amazon for and i put my address or whatever please let me know whatever nothing so that I was that day I was on my lunch break and I walked outside because I heard the, the the mail truck. So I walked outside and I caught the mailman and I was like, hey, you know, I'm showing him my phone like this was delivered yesterday. I ain't get no packages. He was like, well, I was off yesterday. So you might want to. Um, He said, I don't know who was who did my route. Now I'm pissed because I'm now I feel like the damn postman is stealing packages. Right. Um, But mind you. Uh, in my community, I don't know it was who bright idea it was, but there are three, let me see, one, two, three streets, right? But all uh, there are three streets, three different names, but they recycled the addresses, the numbers. So you have a, for instance, you have a 3139 Baywood, you would have a 3139 Asbury, you would have a 3139 um, Crest. So, of course, the postman, they're not paying attention. They just see the number and they just throwing them in the mailbox or at the door and it's not the right street. So that it has been an ongoing issue, right? I don't want this video to be too long because I don't went all into this. But anyway, long story short, girl, they ended up crediting me back. I reordered it, but I sent it to my P.O. box. Um, And long story short, she got, she got her stuff. Girl, why after all of this... One of the neighbors on another street sent me a message talking about, um, oh, I was out of town and my husband got my packages. He brought them all in and he never even paid attention that one of them wasn't uh, ours. And I made a mistake and opened it. I'm sorry, but I'm going to drop it off. Girl, and this video already done got too long and I ain't even got into it. So I can't, I'm not even going to go into what happened after that, but, um, Girl, we'll just talk about it in the comments, okay? So, let's move on. All right. Good news is, Desire got her gifts. And um, we just go thank, thank, be thankful, okay? All right. But anyway, let's jump back into the video. So, so the we're going to try to make sure that the savings challenges and stuff that we, you know, that we do for 2024 will have a purpose and with this in mind, okay? So now that we did that, um, the next sheet is the, uh, I'm going to put this here just in case I need to look over there. So the next sheet is the quarterly. So on this one is how I was going to incorporate, um, you know, that strategy of what savings challenges I'm going to do. I'm going to, I decided that I'm going to do them by quarters, um, and so each quarter, you know, some things may change just depending on the circumstance. So let me just jump right into it to give you a better idea of what I mean. All right. So for 2024, I decided to do um, go ahead and start the 2024 savings challenge. Um, that is one that's going to be done all year, all four quarters, uh, unless I end up capping it at you know before the end of the year but the if not it's gonna go I, I plan to do that one throughout the year so the first one is the um 2024 challenge 
All right, so this is the 2024 challenge. So I'm going to start this one January 1st. Um, and it is going to go through all four quarters unless I finish it before the end of the year. If it gets capped before the end of the year, then it won't move on to the next quarter, of course. Um, I'm not going to just like keep going. I'm going to just stop it when it's when I'm done with it. So then the second challenge that I'm going to do that that is going to be um, all four quarters is the 52 week challenge. All right. So the 52 week challenge, of course, self-explanatory. And so this is the 52 week challenge. Um, and um, so that's that's what I'm going to do for all four quarters. All right. And then let me put that right there. All right. The next one is the emergency. So emergency. Um, I'm not actually starting over because I actually started over toward the end of the year. So I'm just going to um, focus on completing it. If I cap it, once I'm done, then I'll I'll stop it. Um, I may just kind of put a little bit in there just to kind of keep it building a little bit, but I'm not going to really focus on it once I finish it. And so that's going to be um, emergency. So these three for sure is going to be all four quarters. So... All right. Um, now, also, I had been doing the Rag City Challenge. I do want to finish the Rag City Challenge, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to carry that over to 2020, 2024. <laughs> I say 2022. I'm going to carry this over to 2024. I'm not actually starting from the beginning because toward the ending of this year, I started it. So, so my goal is not to have this goal lingering throughout the year. Um, and so, yeah, so, but we do know for the first quarter, um, Rag City, um, and it'll probably go into a second quarter. Life's a beach challenge. So because we have... That is what I use for vacation. So this is the Life's a Beach Challenge. Um, I did it in 2023. I ended up finishing it. We went on vacation. That was it. And I didn't start it back. So for 2024, um, I'm going to start it. And that is going to be for, Ju you know, for July's vacation. All right. And so I'm going to start that here. Um... And that's life's a beach. Now, um, that is not going to carry into third quarter because this is where we're, this is, this will be when we go on vacation. So, this is that's not going to carry over by the time we get to the third quarter we will still have the 2024 challenge the 52 week challenge and hope hopefully we don't have the emergency but like i said if i if i finish cap if i cap it then we'll just kind of throw you know twenty dollar ten twenty dollars you know here and there um and so yeah but really, we should just only have the 2024 challenge and the 52-week challenge. So what I'm going to do is for the third and fourth quarter, I'm going to pick up two challenges to replace um, the Rack City and the Life's a Beast challenge. Uh, my goal is to not do no more than five challenges. So what I'm going to do is the third and fourth quarter, I'll pick up 
two more challenges just to stay at the five and carry those out through the to the end of the year. Um, and so that would be uh, my plan is for it to be Fundopoly. Um, and search the bag. So, search the bag is a, um, puzzle, search puzzle, a word finder. And so you will find the words in the puzzle and the words that you find, you would, um, of course, put them into your, um, savings challenge envelope. And then the fundopoly is based around the, the monopoly, um, and so you would, you could either roll a dice or pick a number or however you want to do it, this girl, but I usually get desire of somebody to roll a dice. So I might roll a dice and hop through the little, the board or whatever. And then I would, um, record, um, you know, my savings on the back of the challenge. So that is, a uh, Fundopoly. And so third and fourth quarter, those are the two that I would end up um, picking up. Now, with that being said, uh, I did say that each challenge um, is going to, from here on out, will have its purpose. So with that being said, um, I'm right on the side of here. So the reason why I'm doing the 2024 challenge and the 52 week challenge, um, I actually want these two to help me build up my savings account to help build up that savings balance. So that's what that's for. Um, emergency is exactly what that's for. Self-explanatory. Um, so that's, that's, that's what that's for. Um, then we have Rack City. Now, Sanaya is a senior and she has all these senior dues. Uh, and I decided that the Rack City Challenge would be um, for to help pay um, these different things that, you know, they need for their senior dues and stuff. So, so yeah. So, that's what that's for. So, I'm going to write um, Naya... Naya's grad. All right. So that's what that's for. And then, of course, Lysa Beach. Um, and that is going to be for vacation. All right. So that's what that's for. Um, but then when we get down to the third quarter, uh, we end up picking up um, or replacing the Rack City and the Lysa Beach Challenge for Fundopoly and Search the Bag. So, Let me see. so Fundopoly, that's July, August, September. We want to make sure that we are. So we stopped here because summer vacation is for Lysa Beach, but it's not going to go into third quarter. So this is quarter one, two, three, and four. Um, but then we will pick up these two, which is Fundopoly and Search the Bag. So for the third and fourth quarter. So for the third quarter, that will help me prepare for fourth quarter. So we have Black Friday. We have birthday. So all we have is birthdays and Black Friday. So the Fundopoly will be for Black Friday. So I'm going to write Black Friday. And then search the bag um, will be for the, the remaining birthdays from the of the year. So basically, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So search the bag would be for, uh, let's see, remaining birthdays. 
So that's the that's the that's the plan. So that means that all challenges has have a purpose. Um, 2024 challenge and 52 week will go toward helping build the balance back up for savings account. Emergency fund will be just for for that. Um, Rack City is to help go toward Anaya's graduation, and then anything left over will go toward back to school. Um, Life's the Beach will go toward vacation, um, and then we will be hopefully done with Rack City and Life's the Beach, and then we will pick up Fundopoly and Search the Bag for the third and fourth quarter. And then Fundopoly is basically for um, Black Friday, and then Search the Bag is for um, the remaining birthdays in the year. Okay, that's the plan for um, my savings challenges. Now, with this last sheet, which is um, the bill tracker, I'm going to, I think I'm going to change that from the bill tracker, but I'm going to track the savings challenges. Um, in the past, I really never felt the need to have a sheet set aside just for tracking the balances of the savings challenges because each envelope um, has a tracker in it. So if I want to know how much is in there, then I'll just go to that envelope. But I do feel like it is convenient to where if I just needed to pull the sheet and see all of them there instead of flipping through all of these different envelopes, then I mean, I guess that is, uh, you know, convenient and a little bit better. So that's what I decided to use um, this sheet for. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out, um, I'm going to write out the savings challenges. So we have... So those are should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven um savings challenges. So let's just so we have seven savings challenges and then um query. I guess I will track I will track it monthly. So for each savings challenge, each envelope has a tracker in there. So every time I deposit or take out of the challenges or the sinking funds, it's, it's tracked on the tracker that's in the envelope. But I can use this to track monthly to see um, the growth, the increase or the decrease. Um, so like, for instance, at the end of um, January, I can put the total of what's in this challenge at the end of February. I can put the total at the end of March and so forth and so forth. And then that'll show me like if I needed to just, if I'm budgeting and I need to just look quickly at, um, a savings challenge to see how much is in there for whatever reason, instead of having to pull out, pull out my binders and flip through, I can just look at this one sheet and see all of my excuse me, savings challenges and sinking funds. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm not going to use this to track every time I put in, but at the end of each month, how much is total just to kind of give me one place to go to be able to look at it all. So I guess with that being said, I can put the um, sinking funds on here. Although I'm always, you know, going back and forth into the sinking funds, I still can see like, you know, what it was in one month versus what it is in another month, you know? So yeah, I do think that's kind of beneficial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, um, sinking funds down here, but I'm gonna put them in a different color. So my sinking funds, I have, um, Six, because I think there's six of them. Yeah. 
So this would be my So that's my sinking funds. that is it for this video um i just wanted to uh kind of do a budget per se for my sinking funds and savings challenge just got come up with a plan of what i want to do um because i'm no longer going to save without a purpose um do the savings challenges without a purpose so um yeah but that's it for this video if you like this video if you like my channel please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you could be notified each and every time i upload and i will see you beauties in the next video bye guys